I'd like to find out, Vashko, more about what your current efforts are. It seems like you're doing a lot of uh, work trying to shift to a research project on open source ecology, <coughs> some practical things. Uh, yes. So tell me, tell me what you're doing right now. Uh, what's uh, your inspiration of how we can work together? Okay. Well, right, right now I'm in Portugal. I was a physics professor in Brazil, yeah. and I was I was trying to get some funding to develop the projects that are well. That, that were the, the I was trying to, to replicate the, the the civilization started kit there, mm -hmm. but I was I wasn't able to get appropriate funding, so I decided to to branch that into smaller projects like the three D printer and all of that, and the extruder that are much cheaper, and so I could get some some funding for that. But uh, well, at this time, at, at this moment, I'm 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 well, I'm, I'm not uh, working. I'm not employed. So I'm doing some courses. I I, I want to do some uh, some course about uh, um, some enterprising course, you know, and like to, to to learn some stuff about that. that I'm I'm not into, and uh, also to entrepreneurship. Yes. You're saying. Yes, yes, what social entrepreneurship. So, social entrepreneurship. What, what course are you taking? Yes. Like, is that like a university? Like a social, social economy uh, course. It's like a post-graduation. Okay. Uh, regarding the, 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 the open source uh, uh, um, projects, I'm, I intend to, to, to apply from, for, again for some funding, but now in Portugal, I... I have a recent, very recent partnership with a with a NGO, envir environmental NGO. So I may uh, well they have some space, they have uh, a building, so maybe it's possible to, with appropriate funding, to start something like the uh, beginning of, of 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 a place that we can do something about uh, regarding the development of of the open source ecology technologies. That was my idea, or, or, or similar technologies like precious plastics, like farm bots, etc. And it will depend on the, 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 the kind of uh, partnerships and the people that I meet here. If we can really uh, meet the right people, we can, of course, you can do uh, many things. But first of all, we need the infrastructure that is the, the lab maker or something similar that we need to, to start. Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, well, I don't have the, I need the training, I mean, I don't have the technical skills at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, I can learn, of course, I, I learned a lot when I built that uh, 3D printer that I showed you before, uh, but still I, well, it's, I, 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 I'm fe I feel well below my potential, I could, with the, with, uh, with the right team, I could uh, I could I could learn much much more, and contribute also much more. So uh, yeah. I, I'm I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to to get intensive training. So that's that's my goal at this time. Mm -hmm. Also, <laughs> and so the let's see the Hypercube three D printer is that what you built? Yes. Let's see. Did you send a picture of what you actually did build? Or? Yes. Yeah, I sent you a video uh, some time ago. Uh, we were trying different speeds and all of that, but we, we had some problems. But well, it's uh, it's normal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. I was just trying to pull that video up. I oh. Yeah. Um. Tell me what's your motivation behind, uh, yeah, there's the video I see in your folder. Yep. Um, yes. What is your motivation behind the effort that you're, you're shifting to astrophysics, astronomy? Yes. And you're astronomy. shifting a bit. So tell me more about that. What, what motivated you to do that? To do the PhD? No, to do, to shift the current shift. Ah, to shift. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> it's not so different from yourself. I mean, uh, when sometimes you reach to a point that uh, things uh, lose their meaning. So, 
and you want to contribute to something that that can help humanity to move forward and to revolve, let's say, as a collective or as humanity as a whole. So uh, at at this time of my life, I'm I'm looking for for ways to to, to contribute to that. Yeah, and I think open source is the way and. Well, I could also think about uh, uh, going for political involvement or going for uh, something like working with the UN, but I, I, I would like to do something more related with, uh, with, uh, with uh, um, the direct application of open source technology into, into communities, yeah. into small communities. That's my interest. Yeah, yeah. And of course, in replicating all the all the all all that uh, idea okay. into. So let me ask you this question, then. What do you think? So you know, like the, have you heard of the book called Fab by Gershenfeld? Uh, no. Uh, he wrote a book in two thousand seven called Fab, like the the coming industrial revolution or something like that. Let me see. Uh, Fab. I put that. Uh, I don't like, know. Let me let me show you the link here because that's a it's an important one. I think it's a seminal seminal book in uh, what we're doing or what okay. you'd want to do um, it, yeah it's coming fab the coming revolution on your desktop um, I'm gonna paste that in but that was written in 2007 and, and to date we haven't uh, delivered the promise of what distributed manufacturing or open source distributed manufacturing could be why do you think that is mm -hmm. what's the what's the issue what are the issues well, <laughs> in your view, it's, like what do you see as the gaps? Well, if, I guess it's it's implementation. I mean, it's 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 very hard to to get uh, enough people to collaborate and to mm -hmm. to go in, to one direction. And uh, I don't know. It's 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 not so it's difficult to answer that question. I have yeah. to think more about it. That sounds it's not clear. To me. Mm. It's not clear. Yeah, uh, it's difficult to get many people going in the same direction. Is absolutely right. That's that's a leadership question, or yeah, that, I think that would be a leadership question. We've got some thoughts. You know, on that. Also about uh, the, 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 net, the, the, the the human relations, it's it's uh, it's one thing that we have to, to work a lot because well that's that's the key. Of well, it's not technology. I mean, it's the most important thing is how we relate to each other. And uh, if that fails, there's no technology to technology loses its meaning. I mean, mm -hmm. so we need to be aware of that that that. Uh, to take care of, of the relations uh, of each other and of course with the environment and all things. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, take a look at this other link here regarding... Uh, so I wrote some thoughts, maybe you can comment on that, but some thoughts on why distributed fabrication hasn't happened yet. Because I think if we can answer that question clearly, we can, like you're saying, we don't have you know, it's hard to align a bunch of people in the same direction and yes believe me I've seen that um, mm. <laughs> even that people when you think that people are talking about exactly the same thing uh, it's uh, open source is like herding cats so you need to uh, do find some mechanisms that really work um, mm -hmm. yeah yeah so I mean we're working on it and latest idea oh, with the geez. steam camps or the Microfactory work is the idea. Okay, well, we can we can build a microfact, an open source microfactory in every city, and mm -hmm. I think we could we could get people around that kind of a notion. I think it's a far, you know, for mo many people it's hard to imagine that. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna try that next. Like first of all, find out. Okay, why why are we not producing things in a distributed way? Assuming that we agree that collaboration works. You know, mm -hmm. uh, let's see if we can make a make a working example of that to distribute wealth radically uh, right. throughout communities. So it's kind of how I'll be pitching that in the upcoming future because um, 
trying to get a lot like right now I'm trying to get people aligned to be instructors to do the steam camps to start micro factories right. in their communities why can't we all get along and, and all of us get together on that so the steam camp effort is a deliberate effort to make that happen yes yes I understand yeah but yeah I, I agree and I'd like to participate but uh, as I said before uh, to you uh, I think I, I, I need more training but it, it, it well it's at least to, to coordinate an effort from from the from the grounds uh, from zero, it's it's not feasible, I think. Have you played so, with Arduino? Well, yes, of course. I have some experience on that. It's it's easy. I mean, it's uh, yeah. you don't need much time to learn it. Yeah. And you can do a lot of stuff. Do you have? Uh, and when you were at the university, you, you taught as a professor. You had classes. So you're a teacher? Yes. Yes, um, three years. Do you enjoy that part? Yes, more or less. Uh, at some time, well, lately, uh, well, I, I always uh, feel the need to have more time for research. So I, uh, at, uh, after some time, you get, uh, you get fed up. But uh, teaching itself is very enjoyable. I mean, I'm, I'm a little tired of teaching physics but not teaching in general. Well, my, my project w is to, uh, has a very uh, important component uh, uh, that teaching is, a, is, a, is an important part of that. And the courses and all of that, because you need the courses uh, to, to sustain the project. So, yes, mm -hmm. uh, that's, so that's something like I, I, I'm a bit of uh, uh, teaching more specific things I would like to open up a bit more and learn more so that I could uh, uh, teach more uh, uh, in the kind of things that, that, that comprise the, the open source in general. Not, mm -hmm. not specific stuff, but well. What, so what kind of skills, like w what's the number one thing for you? Can you be able for me to... to yeah. More specific. And more specific is to 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 be to be open to, to learn new things. That's the more most important thing, and to be flexible, and well, to be organized. <laughs> so, I mean, there's different levels. There's the hardware technology. There's mm -hmm. entrepreneurship, leadership. Um, right. Which all of those areas or which area is most important to you at this point that you think you're missing well I, I would like to start with uh, for me it's easier it's it would be easier to start with, uh, with, uh, with the technical skills but uh, I also need all the other stuff of course leadership skill is not my strong point even being a teacher or co coordinator of physics course uh, I would like to learn more about leadership as well, and uh, in, and regarding uh, entrepreneurship, I'm not uh, well. I don't have I don't have uh, any kind of experience or well. I have common knowledge, but not nothing like uh, never did a course on that. That's why I'm going to do now. Uh, uh, I'm going to to see if it fits in the next year agenda. Depends on. The priorities that came, came up, and uh, um, so are you're not working right now. You're still so you're taking a course, and what's yeah. what was what are your plans for the near future? What were you aiming to do like this year, next year? Well, the, that's that's it. I, I'm, I the, the course has one year, so I it will go up to June, I think. And and uh, in the meantime, I, I I want also to do other courses, and and of course there are the projects that I'm writing, and if if, if one of those projects succeeds, I can start uh, 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 the project itself. I can start a, a sustainability center for educational sustainable sustainability center, and and from there I I, I will experiment and. And, and go from from that. And of course, uh, as I as we talked before, uh, 
I'm one of my priorities for 2020s would be to 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 have some training with you. Mm -hmm. uh, even well, the aim was to have the training and then to to come back to Portugal or some somewhere else to to implement something to implement a center. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's 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 my 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 my, my priority would be to do something like that. Uh, with or without funding. Mm -hmm. And right now yeah. you're looking at with a nonprofit or some other organization you're looking yes. at getting their space, using their space? Using their space and also using the par partnership to apply for funding because I cannot do it by myself. I have yeah. to rely, but that's good because I, I really need to, to, to know the people and to, to uh, to build my network and and to, to try to that's that's the way to find uh, other like-minded people to, to work on projects mm -hmm. and uh, well we will we will in the next weeks we will uh, we will meet to to fine-tune how how we are going to apply for that funding Mm -hmm. But after that, we, there will be an other fundings as well, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Would you see yourself it's running a micro Work in progress. Yeah. Sure. Um, would you see yourself running as an... I like the idea. Were you actually producing real things? Yes. Even common things, like a cordless drill or yes. a shaver? <laughs> yes, sure. Uh, the idea for us is, um, I'm trying to get feedback on this, but there's literally like $20 trillion of economy that comes from manufacturing. We can capture some of that at least uh, through local micro factories. Mm -hmm. But the idea is start with very simple products that then the value proposition becomes lifetime design, circular economy. So recycling, mm -hmm. like precious plastic, and right. uh, doing that, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, it sounds like, uh, okay. Sounds like be quite open to that to what we're exactly what we're doing. Yes, uh, well, I'm, I'm I've been following uh, open source college for for some years now, and then well, sort of develop within myself the the will or desire or courage to <laughs> to start something. So I'm I'm giving now the first steps to in order to mm -hmm. to contribute in yeah. some way. Yeah. But as you know. We, we, we need the uh, we need the skills and yeah. it's a bit frustrating to see time time passes fast and uh, we really need to to Rapid organize them to well how would you feel about I mean to get I'm hearing that you know you want to do rapid learning of lots of different skills but what yes. about I mean so you have some Arduino skill what about Raspberry Pi skill do you have that no I, uh, no. As far as the 3D printer that you did, did you actually get it to work? Did you get it printing? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you still have that printer? We did that. Sorry? Do you still have that printer? Uh, it's in Brazil. But uh, it's, it's the printer that I showed you in the, in the video. Mm -hmm. That I sent you. It's the same print. I have a new one here that I built in one hour, but it's a, it's a kit. So it's, it's very straightforward, let's say. Yeah. Um, so. Do you have time to join in some development work with us right now? Because, I mean, okay, if you have at least Arduino skills, then uh, you, you program Arduino? Well, I can, I can... I don't have much experience, but I can learn more. Because... Uh, I mean, would, do you have time, like, in your schedule right now? Do, I mean, do you have time... Like, what's your schedule look like? Do you, are you pretty busy or full time or...? Well, I'm I'm also doing uh, I'm doing a data science course at this time, so it's four hours. Uh, that's a uh, plan B, let's say. Um, I need that to to have uh, some income as freelancer. That's the idea. So I need to do that. Uh, so I have more or less uh, two to four of uh, two to four hours each day, or at maximum four hours. Or other stuff. What is it? Your freelancer doing what? 
Well, I, I'm doing I'm doing a, a, a data science course, so I could work as freelancer on that because um, I'm I don't have uh, income at this time. But apart from that, I have four hours more or less free daily. So that's that's the time I have. It depends on projects. I have to I have to I have to see what 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 you need and what are conditions and all of that. What do, what do you suggest? Well, I mean, so we're developing. Hold on, let me fix this dog here. Oh, so yeah. we're all getting trying to get the team together to uh, but to, to develop the curriculum that we have for um, yes. for the steam camps we're, we're all working mm -hmm. on it collaboratively I was wondering if you can you can help in any of that I mean if you've got the Arduino skills there's some stuff in there that needs needs work um, let me sure. show you what I just don't know what to what level but uh, well we, we can see if it works out on Well, I mean, if you're w willing to learn and teach as you go, like it's, you know, a lot of times what we do is we yes, that's study and we teach. Um, mm -hmm. Once we learn some things, I mean, all this stuff, I've learned pretty much just getting into it, self-taught okay. after the PhD stuff. Um, <laughs> but let's, let's take a look at this, what we have. So click on this link here. And give you link. Okay, if you look at that link, so the first mm -hmm. that's the detailed. Have you looked at this? But that's the detailed schedule of what we're doing. And yes, I took. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you could do. You <laughs> The idea, it's like, none of it is like rocket science. I mean, we could attach your name to developing a lot of these things. There's, um, mm -hmm. you see on a page two of that, do you want to look at my screen actually? I'll show you. Look at my, uh, okay. share. Right. There. You see this? Mm -hmm. So we've got people working on different things like Michelle, for example, doing the 3D printed motor, uh, motor controller. Um, right. You know. Are you, uh, do you use FreeCAD yet? Uh, no. Okay. That's one thing I, it's on my list. <laughs> yeah. Let's um, say. Yeah, and you know, we can teach you a basic workflow in that in about an hour. Like you can actually be proficient at doing basic things in, in an hour. I mean, we've done that. Uh, that's what we mm -hmm. teach. But, okay, so if we go down here, I mean, look at, you know, first day, like for example, Let's see, um, Chris Caswell, like Chris Caswell is, for example, doing the 3D printed hacksaw, but, but okay, so we're building a 3D printer from our D3D Simple kit, mm -hmm. and then we do a 3D printed hacksaw as a practical project of a useful product, right? Right. So we have to test that, like, for example, Cr Chris is working on a mm -hmm. 3D printed hacksaw, now I would, so we all keep logs, like Chris log right mm -hmm. and okay he hasn't logged that okay that was an interview with him but uh, if if it's not on a log that means it's not done so okay so we need that but the All idea right. is there's there's a bunch of simple tasks that it's like okay detailed instructions okay so step one two three um, stuff like that or like you know if you have the 3d printer that you have mm -hmm. Can you actually do the D3D simple? You know, that's something if you build that. 
yeah. you can teach us. But I mean, there's some things like from ve very simple, like okay, well, here's how we build a 3D printed yeah. hacksaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd like to, to to build it myself first. <laughs> well, I did the uh, Apercube, but uh, it's a different printer, so I need yeah. To I mean, maybe you know, on your that's that's a problem of distance. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But well have you worked any with KeyCAD? KeyCAD no. Okay. KeyCAD. Have you done soldering? So, do, no. Okay. Soldering no. Okay. So day three is the electric motors, we've got that covered. Um Arduino, battery charger, no, project days. Okay, so the things that with your, like if we could talk about what you could mm -hmm. reasonably work on, I mean, if you want to join the team, I mean, you'd welcome to do it. Like, for example, to, like, right now, the 3D printer build would be my task, right. primarily. Um, like, there it is. My name is next to D3D Simple Universal, but I mean, you can take that task if you want. Um, mm. Do you want to try to do it? Try to actually build one? And document the process well, of doing so? or <laughs> it's, it's a challenge. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. well, I need to... Uh, well, first is the framework, right? You yeah, really well, it starts and... with... You know, what about this? So it starts with the universal axis, like mm, right. what you see in day yeah, one. That's easier. Okay, well, I think maybe, you, how about um, we get you to do that and document the build of one universal axis? Mm. Because the same universal axis is used to make the more complex things. Right. Um, tell me more. What do you what do you think about that? Do you maybe want to try getting that? Because then, see, what we can offer is if you collaborate with us on a team, then we can. The idea is we meet several times and we teach each other, right. essentially from basic instructionals, like okay, here's how it works, etc., to the point that preparing for the this workshop would be like taking the workshop you know so you can mm. I mean you're welcome to approach it from that level where you're contributing something like okay so you can contribute some of these tutorials we can talk about how mm. to do that within simple Google Docs I mean I'm sure you used uh, Google presentations yes. like the presentation of this thing um, mm -hmm copy and pasting steps um, like for example for the universal axis if you know how to build that then you can help us put together an instruction I mean because someone's got to do it. it's kind of like almost like busy work but someone's right. got to do it I mean it's meaningful busy work because it's a you know it's a meaningful thing that we're building but it takes time and we someone's got to do it so I mean you think we can get you to do that Eventually, <laughs> no. I, I, I mean, I, I just want to understand the the bigger picture here. Um, but that implies anything. I mean, uh, uh, as long as uh, I don't have to coordinate uh, one of those uh, steam camps, that's that's okay. I mean, I'm I just don't think I'm ready to right. do that. No, yeah. But, but a small part, it's okay. I mean. But how, how, how can I learn about the other stuff as well? It's, it's, everything is remotely, everything is, is, is by remote access, how, how does it work? During the Steam Camp? No, I mean before. When before that, we're going to be in different locations, like the guy in Belgium, right. uh, different places. So we, we get on a conference like this and mm -hmm. we basically probably go into a Google Doc like this one and click edit and discuss uh, maybe in real time actually do some design documents or design the concepts that we're working with uh, discuss that um, but once 
the preparation phase is done, every person is producing like pretty much finished instructionals mm -hmm. for how we would actually teach it during the, the camp. So right. at that time, you would have access to all the, all the material. And mm -hmm. the idea there would be, I mean, we would practice that. Like we would perhaps set up a practice session where uh, one of us, we'd probably have to do like a, almost like a dry run through all the different parts of that where somebody yeah. says okay now it's the presentation like I might do you know say in the schedule um, you know in a nine-day curriculum it's like okay the introduction uh, first of all I would have to script that out like in detail because unless I script it out only I can say it so the idea is during the actual workshop it might be that i'm presenting that to to all the different teams but what if there's bad internet the idea there would be that uh, each instructor would have access to those slides and the text so they can actually mm -hmm. also produce that presentation in case the internet goes out so we haven't really discussed in detail how that would go but ideally uh, everyone gets familiar enough Right. that you know like for example Ferdy who's doing the circuit plotter part you know he's been here mm -hmm. he knows a bunch of stuff so he can probably do a decent presentation if if I feed them the slides and the text I mean it's almost you're almost reading it you can practice it you can get as good as you like and as much time mm -hmm. as you put into it uh, that's how good you're gonna be at it because it's all about practice but we would probably do nice. a dry run through with all of us like uh, i would present okay here's the here's the presentation i might say maybe i give that give that presentation quickly and mm -hmm. teach people like ask if pe anyone has any questions about it and stuff like that so we would practice it definitely remotely uh during the mm -hmm. preparation for the steam camp nice. so we might have a couple like <laughs> maybe several long meetings or maybe you know like a week of evenings where we spend like maybe two hours going over materials and making sure everybody has it and then yeah mm -hmm. you know everybody understands this stuff and you know mm -hmm. ask the instructors all ask questions and stuff like that so it's about ideally it's like as in this this graphic here it's like there's so many little elements each element is like during the camp itself it's going to each each of these elements is probably going to be like one hour um mm -hmm. but to prepare it you know it'll take you 10 times that amount of time like to prepare like right. a one hour <laughs> module it'll probably take you eight times as much or 10 times as much to do it but i mean we want to do it as good as possible so that i mean this thing is the best in the world the idea here is that we are giving you all the skills you need to get started on open product mm -hmm. development with mechanical and electronic basic mechanical electronic design uh, that's the idea so so the steam camp is not just a steam camp it's like this is the framework for how the world can start engaging in open product development so the vision is like much bigger than oh this is not just any steam camp this is this is it the most condensed it's essentially the fab academy for open source product development. Fab Academy is the mm -hmm. thing that the Fab Labs do. You ever hear that? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's the Fab Academy for open product development. And in a short version, it's like a four day version. And of course we provide extra reading materials that if people want to delve deeper, they can always learn more and get, but this is like the basics that you can get started with. And you can do basic CAD design, you can do basic 3D printing, basic mm -hmm. circuits and things like that. That's how it works. So I don't know if you feel up to it, if you feel you have the time, I mean, you'd be welcome to join this effort. It's an open invitation to a lot of different people. And then otherwise, I mean, what we'll be doing in next summer is three months of intense. So probably the first first month we'll be focusing on all the much more detailed version of this course. And then we're just building stuff. So probably like half, half is class and the other half is just building crazy stuff. We're gonna be building tractors and houses and greenhouses right. and stuff. <laughs> So that's it's kind of like half and half, just you know, crazy stuff. So um, that's what it's going to be. And then, of course, you'd learn much more hands-on there, and 
immersion. Of course. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Well, if, if it's... Uh, well, okay, I can try. I can start from a small part and then we'll see how it goes. But anyway, uh, uh, what do I need for a 3D printer? I need to buy all the stuff? How it work? How does it so, work? Um, so what you would need is you'd 3D print the printed parts and buy the other parts, which are all together like 25 bucks. Um, 25? Yeah, it's about 25, I think. One of the slides here shows that. So you have an updated... Like uh, right there. Uh, oh, sorry. Did I quit my... Do you, have, you have an updated bomb. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's... The other one was... 25. Oh. Yeah, I mean, um, if you look at my screen here. You mean for the axis? One axis is like 25 bucks, like right here. Ah, right, right. I was talking about the uh, printer. <laughs> yeah. Full well, well, look, the, the small printer is going to be like 200 or 300 dollars, but, but the full one, okay. that's like more like 500. That's, that's like professional grade with a 120 volt heat bed which mm -hmm. heats faster than the extruder. I mean, that thing's gonna be like professional grade. We don't need to do that for the steam camp because you can build that once you understand how to build this. Right. But here we start with the simplest low entry level. But that's how it looks there. If you can see my screen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, well... <laughs> Yes, I can. I can start with that, and then. But but if I do that, I I I, I will want to to build to build a full printer. I will not be satisfied with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But maybe you know, you, as you said, do it do it piece by piece. You build one, and you then you build mm -hmm. three, and then you'll see. Right. Oh, okay. I. Um, but at least I have the printer, so it's it's easier. I mean, at least I have the one part that can. Without the printer, it would be much, much, diff much more difficult. Yeah. I mean, I had to, to get someone to do that, or to, to buy it. Right. Um, now, as far as the schedule for doing this, we want to have. I mean, so do you have? I mean, do you want to commit to that and, and try working on that? Like as a, you know, like put. Can I put your name on this, or do you want to just not really? Um, tell me more. I mean, how how much? I, I would like. I would prefer. Well, yes. I uh, of course I'm interested, but I would like to have some kind of uh, uh, that you could uh, be closer. I mean, to 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 uh, to follow what I'm doing more closely at the, at the beginning, and then. Well, yeah. Okay. So I mean, we'll we see. have mechanisms for that. So what you do. Um, you start a work log, so it's like, for example, marching log, right? Have you seen right. that? It's my log, mm -hmm. and then you would have. Uh, you just uh, basically, there's a page called team, team page, and this is all the people that work in team and development. So, for example, I can right. do a Michel log, and see what he's been doing, and he's logging his stuff. Um, anyway like just keep updating wow he put in like 30 hours on it let me show you what he's just done recently uh, Facebook but basically log on your log sorry I want to show you the, the electric motor like the kind of crazy stuff he's doing um, the brushless. Yeah. So he even did like this exploded view kind of a thing. I don't know why it was so slow. Let me plug in some speed here. I got a wired connection. But the idea is we, we collaborate. Like for example here we... Right here, like, look at this thing. So that's what he did just recently. Yes. Did you see it? Yes, I...
You have seen it? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, I don't know what's yes. going out here. Yes, it went. Uh, have you seen this thing? Yes, uh, I've seen one? it uh, today or yesterday. The, I mean the, the Facebook, Facebook page, page and the, the, the design, design, yes. Well, we're going to teach you how to do that for breakfast. This is the, He's going to teach us how to do this WebGL stuff. This is the CAD and he has some scripts uh, in Python. Is it Python scripts? No, it's uh, some, uh, something else. But FreeCAD is Python, so if you know Python, you're good to go. Yes. Yeah, that kind of um, stuff. Yeah. I mean, so you can that's do... Python is, uh, is uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. I have years of experience with Python. Right. And statistics, if you know, if you, <laughs> if you need something in statistics. I don't think that's the what you need at this time. <laughs> uh, it's gonna, yeah, you can do statistics for marketing stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, but the the cons and I, and I should probably like make a presentation for how to do this. But you start a work log, you start a public document, and then just ping me or ping the you know email the team or post. Actually, what we're supposed to be doing is all of us are supposed to be going on. A, I'm trying to get people to use the the Facebook page because it's a good good place to post stuff in public it's a it's a public group where right. we can share the updates yeah, just um, like with the electric motor and stuff like that that's what that page was set up for um, so communicate there and you know we see what everybody else is doing and then um, we get that synergy happening so it's it's a very simple thing you publish as soon as you have something like the thing that you have to do simply is like as soon as you have it work in a live editable document so as you as you're doing it the world is already seeing it so you'd say you mm -hmm. publish that document on a facebook page or wherever or email to the team and it keeps going like that the idea is that a number of people can work in parallel in real time and as soon as you have a file which you're not doing files like FreeCAD yet, but as soon, as soon as you have that, you upload it so that others can work on it. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one of the priorities would be to learn FreeCAD as soon as possible, right? Yeah, and you can do that. I mean, we've got a one hour. I mean, you should try this one hour. Uh, the tutorial. One hundred one. One hour tutorial. You should be able to get to what you need to do. But to actually start which which one. one? Which one is that one? It's okay. the official one or? Okay. The can you direct me this on one, that? Lesson three right here. All you need to do is study that and you'll be able to to make parts that you can start printing. So right. lesson three of Yep. Of what? Right there it's in the I am not seeing it. Yeah, it's, it's in the, in the uh, sorry. Yes, it's in the chat. <laughs> yeah, right. it's uh obviously basic workflow tutorial. Uh, so study okay. that that text, and this is all you need, man. It's it's like the idea is you can draw things, you can extrude things, and you can make features on any face, and that gets you any geometry, like all the stuff. Like for example, in a universal axis, you'll be able to design right. after you see this tutorial. Well, uh, and, <laughs> in and one actually, hour. <laughs> well, but let me know. Like I, I mean, so I did that in. I took people in Spain. And five out of eight were able to design an object according to this workflow in one minute. Five out of eight people after 45 minutes of practice. That's well. So uh, this is it. This is just don't get confused on getting too deep into this. This is a basic workflow, but it allows you to do just about anything. So that's the kind of idea we're trying to simplify things for people so people can get involved quickly. Right. Um, I'll I'll try. <laughs> yeah, try it. Now, what I'd like to actually do, there's a let's see, there should be a thing down here, right here. Comments. 
Uh, I'm gonna say please comment. Please comment. Okay, I'm actually gonna do that and edit. So, so this is wiki. I mean, you know, wiki you can edit this stuff real time. Right. Right. So, so okay. So please comment. I, uh, I already have an account, you know, on the on the wiki. Yeah. So. Yeah. If you were able to do the basic exercise after basic design exercise after one hour of practice. And I'm going to move this up next to the free CAD test, the, the, next to the third video there. See, FreeCAD is in Python, so you could be very useful very quickly if you... Um, oh man. Yeah, you, you could help us a lot because, okay, so let me tell you this one thing. Okay, so I'm going to put this there. I'm, I'm putting the chat, the Q&A, like the... If you wouldn't mind, like comment if you were able to do it there. Wait, mm -hmm. are you seeing my screen? You're not seeing my screen. No, 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 no. Okay, take a look at my screen. <clears throat> so there's the comment right after this, this section here. So comment there if you could do it. Um, okay. I don't think any, I mean, one, com nobody's using that yet, but nobody's commenting. But, okay, so FreeCAD, you can, you know, like all the stuff you have, all those symbols there, you can program that very easily using Python. So, for example, you can make a workbench for designing a 3D printer, where if you click on one button, it would, for example, draw the entire axis. And you can select the length and things mm. like that. So that's the power of FreeCAD open source. You can readily make workbenches where you can design things very rapidly. So I mean, I'd encourage you if you if you want to make yourself really useful, uh, because one of the uh, look at uh, FreeCAD. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're trying to do open source tools. I think I added something in the curriculum where. Yeah, it's I'm not sure. Let's see. It's a lot of stuff here. It's a lot of stuff, but but if we have that workbench, we have a 3D printer workbench by OSE and FreeCAD already, like where you can just make the frame. <laughs> we just got as far as the mm -hmm. frame. Basically, you select the lengths of the frame and stuff, but uh, we can show that kind of stuff where if we have that, I mean, if you want to help us on that, that would be an awesome task, but it's not... I thought it was in the curriculum here. No, it's not. It's just a basic workflow tutorial, but down the road I mean that's that we want to have this the as we uh, start producing the printer we want to have a printer design workbench in FreeCAD so people can start designing their own their own 3d printers and that's the like different sizes and configurations because you can do all kinds of configurations like v3d simple or our full printer anything so um, what I'm saying is you can help a lot. If you build the axis and you take the one hour tutorial, you'll be in a position to contribute so much. Hmm. And it just builds upon one well, tool I, after another. Yes, yeah, so I'll take a look then and um, I will see how I, I will proceed. But I need to 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 to, to see this uh, slowly. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> yeah. Are you know? Do you know the page 3D printer manual? Ah, uh, can take a look. 3D printer manual. It's got the full manual for the 1810 version 1810 or version 1809 from last year. 
but like it tells you like the access manual there are you finding it you can look at my screen not yet yes it's, uh, oof. where is it I pasted it in the chat if you want to do that 3D printer manual. But there we have, for example, the axis build. And, and like if you're making a tutorial on how to do the axes, you can use Top some of that. Feet. But see, it's not going to be exact for the D3D simple because this is for another configuration. But it does tell you a lot already. Mm. So you can copy like a lot of this stuff, like part labels. Oh. So I, I, I wrote it. Right, right. I wrote it in the in the search, but it didn't appear for some reason. Uh, 3D printer. Maybe I'm, I'm not. Yes, I'm not logged in. If I search 3D printer manual, it comes up. Yeah, but I, I sent a link in a chat box. Well, yes, yes, yes. I open. I opened it already. Yep. Okay, so nice. This manual is 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 from when? 1809, September 20, 2018. Hmm. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's a. But uh, initially, we uh, I, I wanted to uh, to build one of one uh, one of those printers, but then. Uh, my colleague wanted to build another one, so yeah, we ended up doing the HyperQP. He was more experienced, so um, right, well, didn't go forward. But maybe now <laughs> it will go. Yeah, I mean that thing is exhaustive so detail. Yeah, sorry, the the manual we have is exhaustive detail for eighteen ten. Yeah, it looks good. It's the right. It's the eighteen eleven. No, the eighteen ten. No, actually, 1809. 09, okay. And you know this page is called Genealogies, so D3D Genealogy or 3D Printer Genealogy. Okay, you can see the, uh, the tree. Yeah. Um, so here's a link to Genealogy. All right, man. So so tell me, let's, let's summarize here. So what do you think? What are your thoughts? Well, it's tempting. <laughs> Why not? And uh, how how much uh, how much time for to build do I have? Um, One week or no? You can have more. Uh, the idea is three month development cycle. So we're gonna we're aiming for like January or early next year to do the Steam Camp. So to do it. Like you'd have, you have a like. If you do it within a month, then we can completely use all your stuff. You know? Okay. Um, Just for the arm. For what? Okay. Just, uh, just uh, one month for the arm. Yeah. Okay. Well, seems reasonable. Do that. Uh, I still have to. Yeah, I still have to buy the stuff and. Yeah. One and month, then you can actually also. contribute to the to the instructional for how to build. Well, starting with the axis, because if you if you show an instructional for how you build the axis, there might be s okay. three slight modifications. Like if we're building the D three D simple, but then we can collaborate on that, and you you, you can help. So Great. But, uh, where should I uh, create the the log? Yeah. So it's my personal log, or yes, it's my personal. Yep. Log. Uh, so that would be. Let me join. So va vashko log. Yes. And. Password. And then I can set you up. So um, let me actually put like, can you? Would you mind tracking your time? So like we all track time. So this is uh, I can put you in. Uh, can set set up a new time log so I can add you. 
what's your email? Let me see. Vasco MFM dot Nevesh dot Gmail. Yes. Okay, so I'll add That's that. It. Ah, you are creating uh, an account. I'm creating uh, a time log. A time log. Yeah. Okay. And then save. Okay, and then to embed it. I'm trying to log in, but I think I. Not this one. Look at that, now you got Vashko log. And then <clears throat> I, I took some notes from today. Um, okay. So the for format for time is like, say, Friday, September 20, 2019. Um, okay. And then I'm going to say here. I took a couple of notes, Vashko, Nevesh. Flat, flat towers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, and then yeah, it so appears th publicly, ah, yes, I can see it. Yeah, it, it gets fed okay. into this overall graph, which is on my log. So if you look at uh, my screen right there, that's the, all the hours feed into that. Right. So right, right so now it's pretty low, the others. like we don't have many people, but this is going to be a major, major spike next year. So, you know, we're doing the incentive challenge. We're going to have thousands of people. So we're getting ready for that. Um, right. So we're practicing. <laughs> yeah. It's so be how, how many, how many hours do you spend on meetings? <laughs> right now, uh, not a lot. No, I mean, we don't. I, I, well, right now I'm just recruiting and talking to a lot of people, so I'm on the phone a lot, like maybe two yeah, hours. It's more day. intense spirit. But, I mean, yeah, the development team, like we want to focus that around product development because the bottom line is we got to have uh, people getting paid. got to have products. Right. Start that damn micro factory, start making stuff, um, you know, that's the idea here like let's all do that and that's why we want to collaborate to, to all do that mm -hmm. so that's where we're going so trying to focus the meetings on okay where it's about open source product development like this is real products and that can fo focus people and that allows people to remain on a project instead of dropping off because everyone drops off mm -hmm. it's like you can't work right uh, like with volunteers you can only but expect so much Right, right. But but after the twelve uh, events, do you think they are going to uh, they are going to uh, all the twelve people that are going to host events are going to fixate the micro factory, or it's something that is going to do to be done in the near future, not just now. Well, uh, it depends on ambition. No, I mean, everyone's welcome to do it. I mean, we're setting up production here. But, yep. right. but the idea is to set up a business on yep. each of the 12, right? Thousands, yeah. Every city. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. But no, that's the, that's the 12 idea. at a time. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on ambition and availability of the person behind it. Right, right, right. It, it's really like self-selecting. But what we can do is work out this financing model. Um, and I think we're going to transition more to like an open source franchise where we train people to do that. Uh, initially, it's like the 50-50 revenue share. But later on, we were thinking about uh, an open source franchise where you can do it pretty much on your own. And OSC would continue developing everything like OSC would set up the infrastructure for operations and we'd take like a 12.5 percent cut of, of that so we're keeping yes. like a central repository standards training 
uh, right. certification and all of that so we keep a solid organizational infrastructure where we can scale the open development and continue running yeah, yeah. challenges and all that stuff and helping hey, people well, it, uh, build my resources for yeah. for improvement and development yep. that's yep. no, no easy way regarding that yeah yeah just yeah, we need an organization so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah okay. okay well that sounds good so so we'll try that and then we'll see how it goes and we keep talking and well I hope uh, anyway I hope I can I can att attend in summary it will start in June right um, yep the June, July August yep yeah, it's three months yep um, and then do you have any idea of the cost of that uh, three months uh, not yet hmm. Okay. I'll see how I'm gonna work on I that. Can work on it. Yeah. So like right now, just working on the uh, the steam camps. Uh, right after we get that team going, like I was aiming to get the announcement up for the summer camp by by December. I'm not sure. Hope December. it's gonna happen, but I don't know. I mean, I wanted to get it by December so people can. Right, right. Planning so it's it. it's still it's still preliminary. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you have you have a lot of work to do with, uh, regarding the steam camps anyway. Yeah, we I have do. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay. I'm gonna put your name by by Universal Access Build. Okay. And I'll wish me luck. <laughs> yeah. 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 That sounds good. No, oh, I, I think it's up. simple enough. Yeah. Do it's you good to start. Some? Yeah, so next week we're going to hold a meeting probably with the team members to start coordinating all the curriculum. So do you want to join us for that? Sure. Yeah, definitely. It's more or less at this time or later on? I don't know. Don't know. We'll have to... Um, it's, it's already 8 here. So yeah, we'll have to... We go. Probably like 11 a.m. or something. 11 or... 11 is, time, so is okay. Like, yeah. Maybe a little earlier for you. You'd prefer like eleven would be good for you. No, eleven we uh, five. Yes, mm -hmm. it's okay. Something like that, and all that, so we have the team USA and team Europe and everyone mm. else. How many people do you already have? Uh, as as many as you see on there. Uh, these people. So you got Ferdy, myself, Chris, Michelle, Israel. Uh, Yale just a few that just a few we need more uh, so I'm, I'm busy doing that I'm, I'm going to right, the, right, right. yeah to the fab lab fab Academy graduates I want to talk to those people like Ferdy did the fab Academy we think that's gonna be a great place to recruit people yeah. sure yeah okay okay so, see, you, see you soon then okay talk to you soon thank you for talking we'll be in touch. thanks Bye-bye. See you. Bye.